Okay. Once again, I don't really feel the need to spend a huge amount of time on a on an application at this point in the course, but this uh, topic is in your textbook, so I'm just going to talk through it a little bit. The point of this example is to show uh, matrix multiplication as a way of expressing the difference between two values. And it does that by taking the, the values in this um, spreadsheet, which are really already a matrix, just the, the matrix that we're gonna be working with here doesn't have the, the labels on it, just takes each of those entries and puts it into a, a similar position in, in a matrix. And then by multiplying the matrix G here by the matrix negative one, one, this is a column matrix because it only has one column. Uh, by multiplying these matrices together in this order, you get the first two entries become negative. And because you're multiplying a two by one, sorry, a two by two matrix by a two by one matrix, the result is going to be a two by one matrix. And you can see that here, we have 610,000 times negative one plus 61,5 times positive one. So there's my negative 610,000 plus 615,000. And then if we do the same thing with the second row, we get negative 336,000 plus 341,000. When we add those together, we get this two by one matrix. And what that essentially does is subtract this first entry from the second entry. It subtracts this first entry from the second entry, and that gives us the difference between the two. Because both of these values are positive, we can say that the difference between these two uh, is, is positive and therefore the second number is greater. We can, we can see that, right? We can actually see that in the numbers. Um, and that means that the, the gross domestic product, which is what we're checking here, the gross domestic product for each of these two states, Ohio, this one went up and Indiana, this one went up, and this is how much it went up by. If one of these numbers had turned out to be negative, we would say that the gross domestic product had decreased. Now, why would you do that for a two by two matrix here? Probably you wouldn't, but the properties, the principles that hold here uh, can be applied to much, much, much larger matrices. And of course, in those cases, probably most of the work would be done by a computer. But the, the point that we're trying to make with this topic is that matrices are useful in some very specific applications. And this is one of them, although we wouldn't do it on such a small amount of data. And when we did do it, a computer would probably do most of the work. But what would be happening behind the scenes would be, would be matrix multiplication.